So, in my last video, I spoke about why we sometimes can't finish our books. And there are many reasons for that, like getting bored, or having too many distractions, or not finding the time to read, or not finding any books that interest you. Then a few people asked me, why should I finish them in the first place? Hmm, that's easy. You should finish your books because then you can tell everyone that you've read them. It's a status thing. Uh, yeah, no, because it's not a competition. No one cares about how many books you've read. There's only one person you should read for, and that's you. Unless it's a school assignment, then you should listen to your teacher. But there are a few important reasons why you should finish your books. One of them is discipline. Now, for whatever reason you started a particular book, something compelled you to start reading it. And while you're not obliged to finish it in any shape or form, it's important to understand why. I mention this because every book is exciting at the start. In fact, pretty much everything is exciting at the start. The first pages of a book, the first days working out at the gym, the first months of a relationship. But as you read more pages, it can start to get mentally exhausting. And then you read less of that book, and then you procrastinate. Then you pick it up only occasionally, and then you never pick it up again. That's why it's important to have the discipline and get into the habit of finishing things, seeing things through until the very end. And I'm saying this because it's so easy to make up excuses, to find something better to do, when in reality, that might not be the case. Because at least you can be more honest with yourself next time you commit yourself to reading a book, or anything else for that matter. You'll acquire the ability to pick up a new book and say to yourself, okay, I'm starting this and I'm going ahead with it until the end. It's convenient to start a new book and then cast it off as, oh, I didn't finish it because I didn't like it. But for some reason, and you were sold on it, right? So it's important to ask yourself, is it because you really didn't like it, or is it because you just couldn't be bothered to carry on reading it? It's an important thing to know. Quoting Bill Gates himself, who is a voracious reader and has his own blog on reviewing books, he said, I don't let myself start books I know I'm not going to finish. In that case, it's okay to give up on that particular book, but the... In that case, it's okay to give up on that book, but don't give up on books. Just make sure it's a conscious decision, like, I am not reading this because I don't like this, or I'm not reading this because it's too obvious, it's too simple, or I'm not reading this because it's too complex, I can't understand it, I can't relate to this topic or story. Okay, cool, now you've made a conscious decision. You didn't just drop it because you couldn't be bothered, but you're not giving up on reading. You're going to find a book that you're going to enjoy, and you're going to start that, and you're going ahead with it. Another reason to finish your books is to have a concrete opinion about the books you read. And the only way to go about that is to actually complete reading them. Okay, what was your view on Factfulness by Hans Rosling? Well, I, I haven't finished it yet. What about Bounce by Matthew Syed? I'm halfway through. What about Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari? Well, I only read the first chapter. Ah, The Kite Runner. This one, right? I only read a few pages. It's much better to read one entire book than a lot of books, but only read each one of them halfway through. I mean, you won't even be able to have a proper conversation about each one of those half-read books because you won't even know how each one of them concluded. And if it's fiction, maybe there was even a plot twist. I also feel I get this connection with people who have read similar books that I have, or even a book I've recently read. Oh, I know one I've read. The Godfather. Did you read that? Of course, man. Freaking love that book. Another thing that's important about having the discipline to finish your books is that you learn to set goals for yourself. That's a really good thing. You could set a goal to read a chapter or 50 pages a day, or maybe one book a week, or one book every two weeks, or four books a month. 
something like that, but you set some goals, you set some realistic goals based on your daily routine, based on when you know you're going to have spare time, but you at least learn to reserve some time to actually read. And believe me, that same trait of accomplishing things will propagate to your professional and personal life as well. And while it's important to finish the books you start reading, feel free to start, stop, start another book, reread, do whatever you want with your books and your time. Even I sometimes take time off reading. Just make sure it's a conscious decision and just also make sure it's not a regular thing and that you don't break good habits from your life, just break the bad ones. Another thing, never ever shame anyone for not reading something. The moment you force anyone to read or belittle them because they haven't read such and such book, that's the quickest way to get them to reject books. In fact, that's the quickest way to get them to reject you. You never know what people are going through in their lives and sometimes they just need space. In fact, we all need space sometimes. Except this guy over here. My main point is that if you do have the desire to read more or you feel like you could be reading more or should be reading more, then there are many good reasons to do so and many ways to go about it. But don't stop reading just because you hit a wall. Try to understand the wall. That's deep man. Don't stop reading because you hit a wall. Try to understand the wall. Eh, not bad. And as you read more, you'll get better at choosing the books you know you're going to enjoy. And as you become more experienced, you'll gain a better sense of judgement of when to continue reading a book or when to drop that book entirely. That doesn't mean you shouldn't give a book a very good chance before dropping it. Oh my god, I've just read the first page. Does that mean that I have to finish it now? Dude, don't be ridiculous. You get my point. Actually, this is a really good book. I think I'm gonna give it a go. Didn't we just talk about the fact that you haven't finished any of the books that you started in the past months? Yeah, I know, I know, but this one's just more interesting. I think I'm just gonna continue reading this one. Anyway, I'm busy now. Bye. Okay, suit yourself. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. If you enjoyed this video, if you agree or disagree, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you did enjoy it, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.